Hey, Darrington, I hope you're doing well. Uh, I, I guess if you could just kind of reflect on what time was like for you this time last year, I guess you were probably just getting started, not in the, not in the field portion, but just heading to the year two, what's your comfort level like compared to this time last year? Yeah, I would say uh, this time last year, I was still in uh, South Florida training, um, working out every day, running every day, conditioning, um, getting a little bit of stuff on the field with uh, Tannehill, um, AJ a little bit and John at that time. Um, but, you know, going into this year, being able to actually get a, a somewhat regular OTA offseason, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully it will be very beneficial for me. Corey Curtis. Yeah, Darrington, along those lines, you didn't get this last year. And I, and I know there's been a lot made of this being optional because you didn't have it last year. Is it not optional to you? Was this a must? Uh, no, nah, every look, everything is optional, but you know what I'm saying? Just for me, myself, I felt this was the best thing for me to do. Um, you know, everybody here had to make their own decision whether to come in or not, but I felt this was the best thing for me, you know what I'm saying, to be able to advance on the field. Teron. Yeah, Derek, and going back to you saying uh, working with Tannehill, one of the things he said was you were really explosive as a route runner. Uh, is there a receiver in your background, and how much are you looking forward to – being able to showcase your receiving ability this year. Uh, could you repeat that? I said, is there a receiver in your background, like any any type of experience playing the position, and how much are you looking forward to showcasing your ability this year, like today, you know, some of the things that you're doing? Uh, I played a little bit in um, college, but, you know what I'm saying, wherever Coach Vrabel tells me to go, that's where I'm going to go. If he wants me to play tight end and get some reps at tight end, and I'm going to go there. Uh, if he wants me to go to O-line, I'm going to end up going there. Um, really, I'm just excited to go wherever I can to help the team and try and contribute. That's my main thing. Really just trying to contribute this year, to help the team advance. Teresa. Darrington, what is it that you're wanting to work on now that you do have the ability to be at the facility, even if not everybody's there? Is it just work on strength? Is it knowing the playbook? Uh, just getting, you know, what is it that you're wanting to improve on this year? Yeah, I would say this year for myself, it's really nothing on the field. It's everything really off the field. I'm um, just understanding the playbook a lot more. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's year two for me. Um, I'm somewhat familiar with the playbook, so I need to take, you know what I'm saying, more steps and be in detail with everything, understanding more than just what I have to do, understanding what the O-line, receivers, and tight ends also have to do. And I feel like that should help me play a lot faster. Terry? Darrington, even though – in a lot of ways, you're still new to this yourself since there was no OTAs last year. Uh, with so many of the guys opting not to show up, did you kind of feel like that you needed to be a pace setter, a uh, kind of a guy that set the tone out there uh, to show some of the younger guys and the newer guys uh, how it's supposed to be done? I feel, yeah, but no, at the same time. Um, you know what I'm saying? We're all professional. So if I have to, you know what I'm saying, set the pace for somebody else, then that just means they shouldn't be out here. Um, but at the end of the day, this is our job. You know what I'm saying? You come out here, you do the best you can every day. You know what I'm saying? You can't take a day off. You take a day off, you know what I'm saying? You can't protect yourself out here. It's it's not little kids ball, you know what I'm saying? It's professional league. Luke? Darren, how have you seen Coach Downing work in his new role so far in meetings and on the practice field? Uh, could you repeat that? Sure. How, how have you seen Todd Downing work in his new role in meetings and on the practice field? Yeah, I feel like he's doing a great job, you know what I'm saying? Rabel and John, they do a great job putting the right people in the right place for us. So I'm, I'm all 100% behind them. Lennon? Uh, hey, Darrington. Um, what do you expect, you know, assuming you can get through, you know, a, like a full, uh, you know, regular off season and, and a training camp, how will that uh, show itself, do you feel like, uh, in, in your season next year, uh, you know, as opposed to the rookie season? Yeah, I would say just more so just having a little bit more confidence on the field. Um, you know what I'm saying? We're getting a lot of a lot more reps this year with offseason. Um, and then get more reps during camp, you know what I'm saying, going into the season. Like, you've seen everything you can see. From there, it's just game planning week to week, you know what I'm saying, knowing your opponent. You know, all the hard work really is right now and then camp, just understanding the playbook, understanding where to be, when to be there. Paul. 
Hey, Darrington, uh, you're real quiet. I don't know if there's anything you could do to help me a little louder. Good to see you. Um, is this what attendance has been like this week and coming in? Did, did you know that it would be relatively thin for veterans or uh, did you figure things out as you got here? Uh, yeah, we really didn't, you know what I'm saying, really have to communicate it. It's a personal decision. So you're not really asking if somebody else is coming in to see if I'm coming in. Like it's a personal decision for yourself. So if you felt this was the best thing for you and whatever position you are at on this team and your role on this team, then I guess you showed up. But if guys feel like they didn't need to be here, then they're just not here. Well, Claire. Carrington, how high did your frustration level get last season dealing with the injuries and whatnot? And was there ever a point that you felt like you were 100%? Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to say you, you didn't get frustrated. Um, definitely when you want to be out there on the field, um, you know what I'm saying? You worked hard, but you're not able to go out there and showcase anything. That's definitely tough. But at the same time, you got to keep a level head because if you don't, it's not going to get any better. Um, but, yeah, there, there was a time where I felt 100%, you know what I'm saying? When I got back out there, um, I believe that was Detroit, you know what I'm saying, starting those games once I got back after – um, missing my time with IR, I definitely felt 100. percent Jim Wyatt. And kind of following up on David's question there, Darrington. I mean, how, when you reflected back on your season last year, I mean, did, how much do you felt like you learned from it? I'm assuming you probably learned a lot of patience after playing a heck of a lot in college. And do you think that ultimately will be good for you? Yeah, I say you know what I'm saying. Me probably getting hurt last year was probably one of the best things for me. Um, it gave me time to like sit down and reflect on, you know what I'm saying, everything on the field to where, like, now I see things a lot different, um, whether it's the playbook, asking a lot more questions during my time when I was hurt. I was able to ask more questions. And then now when I'm on the field, I can go out there and execute those things while still trying to learn a little bit more and be more detailed. And motivate you to, to reemerge and be a bigger factor this year? I mean, yeah, but not really at the same time. It's just whenever you're out there, you try and make the most out of every opportunity. Lennon? Yeah. Danton, obviously, you know, injuries were a bit of an train. Do you go back to training any differently this year? Or, do you know, do you, do you go with the same procedures and, and you just kind of chalk that up to, you know, uh, injuries will happen kind of thing? Yeah, no, nah, you don't train any different. You know what I'm saying? You treat every year the same as the year before. I just feel like that's one of the things that you just couldn't avoid. Um, you know, certain things happen for a reason. You know what I'm saying? It's not in my control. I just try to control what I can control. So, you know, injuries happen. Um, I'm not the only person in the league who got hurt last year. I'm sure I won't. It will be more than one person to get hurt this year. Um, but at the same time, you just got to be a professional about it. You know what I'm saying? Just try and come back whenever your body tells you it's time to come back and then perform when you get a chance to get out on the field. Two more questions for you, Darren and Corey. Yeah, Darrington, uh, as you said, this, you know, you guys are professionals. This is a profession, and the, and the team brought in Brian Hill a few weeks ago. How much has his presence stepped up the competition level for you? I mean, I feel like it's competition every time. Um, you know, Brian's a great dude. He does a great job. You know what I'm saying? I love to have him in the room. You know what I'm saying? It's good to be able to bounce different ideas, sharpen each other up, and compete with everybody in our room, not just Brian. Um, but, you know, definitely having him here, you know what I'm saying, does help. You know what I'm saying? For a lot of the younger guys, such as myself and Makai, um, but definitely love the competition, love having them in, being able to ask a few more questions and learn a little bit from his perspective. Last question, Jim Wyatt. And Darrington, anything different from a body standpoint? Are you bigger, lighter, faster? What have you kind of focused on heading into year two? Uh, I really didn't focus on anything too much, um, just really being able to just run uh, with whatever weight I'm at. Um, so if I'm gaining weight, try and make sure I can be fast with that weight. But if I'm gaining too much weight and I'm gaining it too fast and I can't move with it, then that shouldn't be the weight I'm at. But really just trying to maintain the weight with the speed at the same time.